This is the first lecture on concept of average. Averages. It is a central tendency of a given set of numbers or observations. And to calculate the average, we take the sum of the observations divided by number of observations. Now, let us quickly get into type 1 that is basic formula based questions. Here we have a question. Find the average of the set of the scores 124, 856, 331, so on. To solve this, let us use the formula. You already know average is sum of observations by number of observations. So, let us take the sum. So, this is 124 plus 856 plus 331 and so on divided by the number of observations is 8. So, this is 3760 upon 8 which is 470. Therefore, the answer is option B. Okay, I hope you are able to understand this concept. Now, let us understand few properties of the averages. The first one is average is always greater than smallest observation and it is less than the largest observation. Let us take an example to understand this. Let us say we have few observations that is 2, 3, 10 and 15. In this the smallest observation is 2 and 15 is the largest. And to calculate the average, we know average is sum of the observations. So, 2 plus 3 plus 10 plus 15 and the number of observations are 4. When we do this, this is 7.5. And clearly 7.5 is greater than 2 and it is less than 15. That is what they mean by the first one. Now, the second property is if all observations are same, then average also will be same as the observation. Like for example, if I take uh, observations as 6, 6, 6 and 6, the average is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 by 4 because there are 4 observations. This is 6. Okay, let us proceed. Now, the third property is the average of first and natural numbers is n plus 1 by 2 or if it is n even numbers then it is n plus 1 and if it is odd numbers then it is n. Now, the fourth property is average of squares of first n natural numbers is n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 upon 6 and instead of squares if they give it as cubes then it will be n into n plus 1 square upon 4. Try to memorize this formula because sometimes they directly give you the question based on this. Okay, let us try one question. Find the average of 151. So, these are n natural numbers where the n is 51. Therefore, I can directly use the formula n plus 1 by 2 that is 51 plus 1 by 2 this is 26. Look at the second bit. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14. These are 7 even numbers. So, we already know the formula for even numbers is n plus 1. Here the number of digits is 7 therefore 7 plus 1 that is 8. Now, the last bit C that is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15, 17. These are 9 odd numbers. So, whenever we have odd numbers, we already know it is n and the number of digits is 9. Therefore, this is 9. In this lecture, let us learn about addition and removal of items. The value of new item added will be a plus or minus n plus 1 into x where a is the given average then n is the number of observations and x is a value which is given as increased by or decreased by and plus or minus we take plus when it is increased by and we take minus when it is decreased by this much understanding is enough let us quickly get into the question the main weight of 
34 students of a school is for education. If the weight of the teacher is included, then the mean raises by 400 grams. Find the weight in kgs of the teacher. And there are a few options. For this, let me write the given data. The number of students or the observations is 34 and the mean weight or the average weight is given as 42 kg and they have given the value raises by 400 grams so that the x value is basically 400 grams if i convert this into kg this is 0 0.4 kg and we are supposed to calculate the weight of the teacher or the new value that was included so here the weight of the teacher is we can use the formula a plus or minus now here we will be taking as plus because the value has been increased then n plus 1 into x now when we substitute the values this is 42 plus 34 plus 1 into 0 0.4 this is 42 plus 14 and that is 56 kg therefore option b the second type is removal of the items the value of the removed item will be a plus or minus 1 minus n into x very similar to previous one a is the given average n is the number of observations and x is increased or decreased by value the value that is given as increased by or decreased by and plus or minus we take plus when it is increased by or we take minus if at all they give it as decreased by okay to understand this let's do one question the average age of 14 girls and their teacher's age is 15 years. If the teacher's age is excluded, then the average is reduced by 1. What is the teacher's age? Now for this, let's write the given data. The number of observations is, they have given 14 girls and one teacher. So total observations is 15. And the average value is 15 years that is girls plus teachers age average is 15 so average is 15 then x x is the increased or decreased value here they said it is reduced by 1 therefore x is 1 now we are supposed to find the teachers age which was actually excluded so the removed item value or the teachers age is a now should we take plus or minus it is minus the reason is reduced by or decreased by in brackets 1 minus n into x now let's substitute the values this is 15 minus 1 minus 15 into 1 this is 15 plus 14 that is 29 years therefore option a in this lecture let's learn about the problems where data is misread leading to a wrong average and we are supposed to calculate the real or the actual average. The correct average or the actual average will be given average into the number of observations plus new value minus old value upon the number of observations where A is old average, N is number of observations. New means if they give one value you take that value or if they give multiple values take the sum of all that new observations and old also if it is 1 you can take that value directly or you take the sum of all the old values let's solve a question to understand this in a class the average height of 35 girls was measured 160 centimeters later on it was discovered that the height of one of the girls was misread as 144 centimeters while her actual height was 104 centimeter. What was the actual average height of the girls in the class? So basically we need to find the actual average or the corrected average. For this let's write the given data. The number of students is 35 girls. So number n is 35. Then the old average a is given as 160 centimeters and old value of the girl height which was entered initially was 144 but the actual height or the new value is 104 
this was given and we are supposed to calculate the actual average value which is a into n plus the new value minus old value upon n this is 160 into 35 plus the new value is 104 old value is 144 upon 35 when you calculate this this turns out to be 158.86 centimeters this is the new average or the actual average let's do one more question the average marks in science subject of a class of 20 students is 68 if the marks of two students were misread as 48 and 65 instead of the actual marks 72 and 61 respectively then what would be the correct average pretty similar for this let me add the given data the number of observations is 20 students then the average is 68 and old values which are misread were 48 and 65 so let's take the sum 48 plus 65 that is 113 and the new values which supposed to be entered is 72 and 61 so let's add them this is 133 and the formula for the correct average is a into n plus the new values minus old values by n so this is 68 into 20 plus 133 minus 113 upon 20 when you solve this this will be 69 this is the answer this is the final lecture of the series weighted averages let's say three groups are given group a group b and group c generally they'll give you two things one is frequency the other one is the value of the quantity let's say group a has a number of items b has b number of items and c has c number of items and the value of a let it be x b could be y and c could be sums it when we have this sort of a data average can be calculated as a into x plus b into y plus c into z upon a plus b plus c the reason to do ax is a number of items have each one x value so together the total value of this will be ax and the total value of this will be by and total value of this will be cz Number of observations means this plus this plus this. That's why we are taking the denominator as a plus b plus c. I hope you are able to get this. Let's solve the question. Kamlesh bought 65 books for rupees 1050 from one shop and 50 books for rupees 1020 from another. What is the average price he paid per book? And few options are there. So here we have two kind of books. So let's take it as a and b and we need to find out its frequency and their values so first category books we have 65 and each one is costing rupees 1050 the second category we have 50 books and each costs 1020 now for such data we already know the average it is the first quantity frequency into value so the 65 into 1050 plus second quantity frequency to value 50 into 1020 upon the total quantities that is 65 plus 50 this is 2070 upon 115 and it turns out to be 18 therefore option b let's try out one more the average of five numbers is 56 if the average of first four numbers is 54 what is the value of the fifth number we already know average is sum of the observations by number of observations or i can say sum is average of the numbers into the number of observations so i can write it as sum for the first five numbers will be the average of the five numbers into the number of observations that is five average of first five numbers is 56 and number of observations is five therefore this is 280 what about the sum for first four numbers it is average for the four which is 54 into the number of observations is four this is 216 now when you subtract 
these two numbers we get as 64 which is basically the last number therefore option is b so that is the end for concept of averages